What's up, people? It's time for more Elements of Justice Case 2. Not a five-hour video <laughs> this time. Just episode one. But this is going to be the second out of three videos this Sunday. First I did Hasman Hotel. Now I'm doing this. And then I'm going to do the new Tell Your Tale G5 stuff from MLP. Uh, I, I swear, this these like four days on my channel is going to be probably the most potent amount of content I've had. Other than that time I did like season five in two days or something. <laughs> but yeah, today I have these three videos. We tell your tale after this one. Monday, I have the hour-long Owl House season one finale, which is three episodes. Then I have the two-hour Avatar The Last Airbender finale on Tuesday, which is, yeah, two hours, four episodes. And then on Wednesday, I have the two-hour Full Metal Alchemist finale, which is like five episodes. So yeah, I have like four days of over... Wait, four days of around like two hours of content. In a row. So, whew. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, but I am just ready to go into this. Um, I enjoyed the first case. And I know you guys really like this, so ready for the second one. This one is called Crusading for a Turnabout, so I assume we're going to get some CMC action. And I'm down for that. I'm missing my apple bloom. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. I'm telling you, that voice got too much swag. Did I see glasses? No. <laughs> Running from timber wolves. Castle of the Two Sisters. <clears throat> oh, damn! Was that a gunshot wound? The fuck? Oh, we're starting off in the pony world. Oh, boy. That party last night sure was a ton of fun. You up partying? It took a lot out of me. <laughs> Got a hangover? But, as much as I'd love to stay here a while, we really should be heading no. there soon. A client could show up at the office and we wouldn't even know it. Who cares? We got Fluttershy here, oh, bitch. It doesn't look like anyone else wants to leave just yet. Oh, are they all here? Well, no one except Apollo, at least. So, Athena, I've been meaning to ask you this for some time now, but what is that thing around your neck? A necklace of some kind? Oh, this? This is my pal Widget. <coughs> Say hi, Widget. Hi, Widget. Hi, Widget. <coughs> Wait. Oh, my. Oh, my Talks. God. Yep. Neat, isn't he? I'll say. I wasn't expecting to hear him speak. So, what does he do? Yeah. Well, Widget is my personal AI companion and a portable computer that I use in court. His functions include taking notes, reviewing evidence, and assisting me in analyzing people's emotions. <laughs> Damn. So he's like a living notebook? So he's an iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one way of describing him. <coughs> Interesting. And how does he help you analyze people's emotions? Facial recognition. Well, with my special sense of hearing, I can detect the discord in a witness's heart while they're giving their testimony. Then, I plug the data I hear into a program called the Mood Matrix, and that way, <laughs> I can see what emotions the witness is experiencing. The fuck? Discord? Oh my god. <laughs> I have a friend named Discord. I know. <laughs> I don't think she means that kind of Discord, Fluttershy. Oh. Basically, <laughs> if I can pick up Discord in someone's voice, then it means that their true emotions are conflicting with what they are saying. Okay. So I use Widget to try and pinpoint contradicting emotions and reveal the truth behind a witness's testimony. Wow. I've never heard of this sort of procedure. 
clearing away the conflicting emotions in a witness's testimony to find the truth. That sounds revolutionary. <laughs> Phoenix Wright it does is. it every day without With technology. With the of bringing analytical psychology into the courtroom, the legal system will be given even more chances to grow and evolve. That's amazing, Athena. Humans truly are exceptional when it comes to the legal world. Equestrian law, as far as I know, has remained stated for the past millennium. So it's well, there's not much a system of law that's <laughs> crime going changing. on, to be fair. So, other than law and psychology, is there anything else that interests you? Do you have any <laughs> Oh my god. No, I don't. You got widget right but there. I'd love to have one. I adore animals. Me too. <gasps> you do? So do I. <laughs> do you have any favorites? Um well, I really love aquatic animals. In fact, there's an aquarium I like to visit that hosts live performances with some of them. Disney. I typically go there to study <laughs> animal assisted therapy and further my psychological studies. Use a lot of big words at the end. The pirate show's pretty cool too though. Oh, you like animal therapy? Hell yeah. I have plenty of animal friends that I let other ponies <laughs> use for that purpose back in my cottage. You guys should fucking hang out. Uh I mean, if you like to meet them. Yeah. Really? Super. Huh? German? Oh, uh, <laughs> what I meant was, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had German ponies yet. It's good to see that Athena is making new friends. Look, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but I'm not sure how much more of all of this what are you hate? I can handle. <laughs> I really just want to go home right now. But uh, I also don't want to spoil this experience for Athena and Trucy. From the looks of it, they seem to be having a lot of fun. Oh, you'll be fine. Nix was exactly like that the last time he was here. Yep. So don't you fret nothing. All of us are happy to do anything to make y'all comfortable. Yeah. I got a whole orchard of apples <laughs> if you need something to eat. Yeah, let's just walk over right. and grab one. So <laughs> I take it you're a farmer? That's yes, right. sir. An apple farmer. I spend most of my time bucking trees at Sweet Apple Acres. My family's apple farm. Wait, buck? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by buck? You never heard of bucking, son? You know, <laughs> giving them trees a good heart. Yeah. <laughs> knocking all them apples down. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> so, how many apple trees do you have? Oh my, oh, I don't I'd even. I'd say dozens and dozens of them. Maybe even hundreds. Definitely hundreds. Hundreds? And you have to harvest all those apples by yourself? We are big mad. <laughs> of course An not. An apple bloom. I have my family to help out with the harvest. Although, there was that one time... Yeah, we don't talk about that, Rainbow. ...entire orchard by yourself. <laughs> well, my brother was injured, <laughs> and I wanted to prove I could do it myself. Letting pride get in the way of asking for help, huh? Yeah, yeah. But I came around eventually, thanks to my friend. And with an athlete like me on her side, we got it done really quick, too. An athlete, huh? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Fastest flyer in Ponyville and top member of oh, the Oh, you're still in the reserves now, huh? Really? That's some title you have there. Oh, just you wait. Soon, not only will I be an official Wonderbolt, but I'll have the title of fastest flyer in all of Equestria. I don't doubt it. I don't think I've ever met another pony with a drive like Rainbow. She's won every race she's competed in. Well, except the running of the league. <laughs> oh, don't get me started with that race. <laughs> you kept trying to trip me up at every turn. No oh, excuses. Please. You were the one that started it. Still, winning every race you've entered is no small feat. Don't you ever get nervous before a race? What? Me? Nervous? Rainbow. Nah, I'm always raring to go. <laughs> In races, sure. But what about the best Damn. flyers? Damn, just company? throwing shade everywhere. <laughs> oh, come on. I was just a little out of it that day, that's all. A little? <laughs> you were flopping around like a blindfolded bull in a rodeo. Well, I was able to do the sonic ring boom and save Rarity and the Wonderbolts from falling to their doom in the process. How's that for flopping around? <laughs> you know, I think I've got just a trick to keep you from getting nervous before a competition. 
Huh? Oh. What would that be? Vocal exercises. Vocal exercises? <laughs> yep. I do what I call my cords of steel exercise whenever cords I get nervous Cords of steel. Trial. What you do is stand up straight, take a deep breath. Okay, I can't scream. scream. <laughs> My roommates would you think really I'm dying. Think screaming is going to stop me from getting nervous. I know it will. It works for me all the time. Here, let me no. show you. My name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. <gasps> See, easy. Whatever Gee, works. Are you trying to make me go deaf? Oh come on! That was only about half as loud as I usually go. Why don't you give it a try? So y'all are just screaming to each to? other. What do you have to lose? Uh, Your dignity. Fine. My name is Rainbow Dash and I'm fine. You call that a scream? You're going to psych yourself <gasps> up like that? I couldn't even hear you. Come on, do it louder. My name is Rainbow Still not Dash loud enough. and I'm fine. Louder. <laughs> My name is Rainbow Dash and I'm fine. Louder. There you go. Now, how do you feel? <laughs> that was awesome. I feel like I can go 10 marathons. I'm totally doing this from now on before I get beaten away. All right. <laughs> oh, that was louder than a buffalo stampede. I don't think I can hear out of this ear no more. All right, good stuff. Now, this next bit is a tad more oh, Another. But I find that it helps even more if you get up really early okay. and do it. I get up really early. Hey! You didn't say anything about that! <laughs> oh, great. Apollo's teaching his new friends about his cords of steel exercise. If he teaches Pinky, oh there won't my be a God. <laughs> Please anymore. don't. I wanted to hear! Ooh! You were an amazing magician at the party last night, Trucy! <laughs> Thank you. It's been a while since I had a crowd that big. I'm happy they all had a good time. Oh, darling, you were simply marvelous. How long have you been practicing magic? Ever since I was a little girl. My, my, I see you were gifted even as a child. How did you learn to perform magic in your world? Did you have a teacher of sorts? Yep, Chris Angel. Yep. My daddy oh. taught me everything <laughs> dad. I know. You... Daddy, do you mean to say that Mr. Wright is a lawyer and a magician? In a way. Oh, no, no, no. My other daddy taught me. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Two daddies? <laughs> How does that work? Are daddies able to give birth in your world? Is gay a thing in your <laughs> no, world? No, <Pinky. laughs> I meant that I had another daddy before Phoenix. But when he vanished, he oh. became my new daddy. Oh, so you're adopted then? Yep. Okay. So your birth father vanished. What exactly happened? It's kind of a long story. I'm not really sure how I'd begin to explain it. Did he explode? Did he run away? <laughs> oh, maybe he's under an invisibility He went rope. to Walmart. He'll be back. Uh, who knows? <laughs> a magician never reveals their secrets, as they say. It's good to see that Trucy's also making friends here. Yeah, we've been making friends the past 10 minutes. I kind of wish I could let everyone back home know that we're okay. Unfortunately, Equestria has no reception. Fuck. So there's nothing I can really do about that. Are you all right there, Phoenix? You've been spacing out for a few minutes now. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just got a lot on my mind. I guess I didn't expect to be on vacation so soon after getting my badge back. You know? It's crazy to think about how much has happened since I was last here. Since I left, I was disbarred, adopted an amazing daughter, cleared my name, and helped bring an end to the Dark Age of the Law. <laughs> the Dark Age? All of that in just eight years. Sounds like you've been just as busy. I know Twilight sometimes finds it hard to believe it's only been a year and a half since you left. Really? She's had to go through a lot as well, mm -hmm. especially after becoming a princess. She always struggles with finding opportunities to take a break from her royal duties. This is the first time in a while since I've seen her so laid back. And she has to deal with murder cases. Relax, <laughs> then I think you should take the chance as well. Yeah. I know, 
but I can't help but feel like I should be working right now. What if there's a client at our office that needs help, and we aren't there? It's really bothering you, huh? I'm supposed to be the boss. It's my job to make sure that the office doesn't go under. But at the same time, I don't want us to just rush back home right as everyone's getting to know each other. Well, I'm sure everyone will understand why you want to go back. How about a toilet to send you home first? Oh? No, I can't leave without them. I have to look after them, especially Trucy. You're pretty dead set on leaving, aren't you? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's great having a chance to come back and meet you all again. But I just can't relax when I know there's a chance that a client could need us. I understand. I'll get Twilight to send you all home. Thanks, Spike. Athena, Apollo, Trucy. Yes, Daddy? Yeah, Mr. Wright? What is it, boss? <laughs> well, Apollo said Daddy. <laughs> What? But we just got here! I know, but I can't help but think that there could be a potential client at the office that needs our help. Oh, come on! You're being <laughs> paranoid! I'm sorry, Trucy, but we shouldn't be taking any chances with this. We still have to find a way to pay the bills by the end of the month. And our clients and your shows are the only sources of income we Ooh. have. <clears throat> Mr. Wright has a point. I mean... The chances of a client knocking at our door are unlikely, but there's still a chance. Mm, you sure we can't stay a little longer? You're about to go to Fluttershy's house. There is nothing that's like <laughs> gonna stop me from we that. We can't. Aww, but I was having so much fun here. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Drew. Damn it! So, you really want to go back now? I don't mean anything by it, Twilight. But yes. We should really be getting back to work in our world. You sure you can't stay for the rest of the day? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, this reeks like cupcakes with dirt. <laughs> because it's a dirty cupcake, and dirt tastes bad, and... Yeah. Hmm. Don't worry, Pinky. I'm sure we'll have a chance to hang out again someday. Okay. Well, you can travel dimensions anyway, so... Next and it was absolutely splendid to meet the rest of you as well. It was great to see you guys again too, Rarity. So, are you all ready? Something about the You're next ready. six it hours of content manual. tells me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see you all another time. Goodbye, Phoenix. Oh my Apple, god. Help! <laughs> Apple Bloom? What's wrong? You have to come outside right now! What's going on? You! You come too before they leave! Apple Bloom, breathe before who leaves? No time to explain! Just follow me! What just happened? <gasps> I don't know, let's go. I don't know, but we gotta find out. Come on. Wait. I'm so confused. What's going on? We gotta get out there. Are we not leaving yet? I don't know. But we won't find out anything by just standing here. Come on, everyone. Vamanos. <laughs> you don't have to tell me German twice. and What's Spanish. Up? What's with you in languages? Damn, there's a lot of people out here. Bloom, what happened? Uh, uh, oh no! Are we too late? <gasps> Where is? Oh, there she is! Huh? It's a good Apple Bloom voice. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything the fuck? wrong. I'm sorry, Miss, but we're just following orders. Oh my! Hey, isn't that? Oh no! Oh. Don't! Oh God! <laughs> miss. Please stop resisting and step inside the, the fuck carrot. do you think she could have possibly Wait, done? I didn't do anything, I swear! That's enough. Get inside the carriage. Some pony, help me! What? Get in the carriage now! <laughs> Hold it! Hold it! Rainbow Dash! I knew you'd come save me! Ma'am, I will only ask you this once. Move aside. No. 
Not until you take those cups off Yeah, the what earth. is going on? And what makes you think you have the right to order a member of the Royal Guard around? You have no authority. You're just a mere element there. I, Bitch! I, <laughs> Where's Twilight? What? What's going on here? We have a warrant for the arrest of one Scootaloo. What? She's currently under suspicion of committing a serious crime and must be brought in for questioning and trial. But that's ridiculous. What kind of crime murder. is she being accused of? If you must know, she is being accused of committing a murder in the Everfree Forest last night. What? what? Oh, for Pete's sake. She's just a filly. There's no way she could kill some pony. Yeah, Applejack's right. I wasn't even in the Everfree Forest last night. Uh, Psychalux? So she's lying about not being in the Everfree Forest? But why? Well, Stop right there. there's obviously more to it. Who are you? Scram, kid. This doesn't concern you. Go play in the woods. <gasps> you let her go, you villain. Uh, oh, what? The? what? Let's see how you like this. Hey, put me down, kids. What are you doing, you little runt? Are you trying to get arrested as well? Guards like you make me sick. What right do you have to bear the armor of her highness? What? Now, let Miss Scootaloo go. Miss Scootaloo? You, are you threatening a member of the world? Where's Twilight? Uh-oh, this is getting out of hand. I need to stop this kid before he does something he'll surely regret. Hey, kid, cut this out. Come on, you're gonna hurt someone. You would deny justice from being delivered, villain? Very well. Then take the point of my sword! Your wooden huh? sword? Uh, With a band-aid? <laughs> kid, get it hard. Yeah. <laughs> Your stone is mine, you villain. You can't defeat me. Oh, no. What? what? My Magatama. Over there! Uh, rats. I can't take on this many. This isn't over. You hear? Hey, give me back my Magatama. Don't worry, boss. I'll catch him for you. Well, bye. Well, a lot just happened. <laughs> I gotcha! Nice. Uh, give back that stone, you ugly hench pony! Hey! Ugly hench pony? <laughs> you take that back, kid! Do not underestimate me! I shall strike you down where you stand! Who the hell you I'm think guard. you are? Burning Page, come here now! Make me repeat myself. <sighs> yes, Mom. Hm. Don't think you've won yet, Fiend. I will return and stand victorious over you and your villainous ways. What? Please, give me a break, <laughs> will ya, you little thief? Luckily, I managed to catch him before he made it inside this forest. I'm not sure I would have been able to keep track of him in there. I'd probably end up getting lost. I wonder if this is the Everfree Forest that that guard was talking about. If so, then the murder must have Jeez, happened lives somewhere in here? there. Athena! Oh man, you run so fast. I don't think my body was built Damn. for this. <laughs> that was nothing, boss. Just a casual morning jog. What's it like to be young? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm enjoying old. it. <laughs> but speaking of young, what happened to that filly? Was she arrested? Yeah. yeah. They took her away right after you left. What the How fuck? How could they do that? There's no way a kid like Scootaloo could ever kill any pony. Have the guards lost their minds? Well, I imagine there must have been at least some grounds for suspecting her. That's odd. Apple I guess even she knows confidently, but her that's not voice. the full truth. Am I detecting uncertainty? Does she think Scootaloo might have gone into the forest last night? Uh-oh. I wonder. 
Obviously, she didn't murder, but Mr. why was she Ryder, in there? You have to help her, just like how you helped Rainbow Dash last time. <laughs> well, here we go again. Please. Yeah, that's right. Nix can save her without even breaking a sweat. <laughs> Maybe a little sweat. I'm certainly not going to turn my back on someone who you guys think is innocent. All right. I'm counting on. Hold on, boss. What is it, Athena? I, um... <laughs> would it be all right if I led this case? Oh? Hmm? I just... I have a feeling that there's something to this case that might warrant my psychological expertise. The defendant is only a kid, after all. I can't imagine this will be an easy experience for her to deal with. Tell me about it. I had to defend a kid once. It certainly wasn't easy for me. I'm not exactly great with kids. Well... Please, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I can handle this. Trust me. Let me defend Scootaloo. Okay. After all, I know more than any of us what it's like to be involved in a murder trial as a kid. That's a fair point, Athena. Yeah, all right. If you're that adamant oh, about shit. it, I can let you take the lead for this case. What do you think, Rainbow? Apple Bloom? <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> if Nyx trusts you, then so do I. Nice. Same here. Thank you kindly, miss. N no problem. I promise. I won't let any of you down. Alright. I hate to rain on your parade, but if you're going to defend in an oh, equestrian yeah. courthouse, you're going to need an equestrian attorney's badge. Oh, right. And I don't have one of those. Perhaps it's not too late to get one. Twilight, how does one get a badge like that? Well, normally you'd have to go through law school. <laughs> we don't got time for However, that. However, since Athena here is already a lawyer, we should be able to make an appeal to the Equestria High Council. The Equestria High Council? You mentioned them yesterday, didn't you? When you were explaining how you were able to be Mr. Wright's co cancel despite not being a princess, it was because you made an appeal to them, right? I recall hearing about them as well yeah. on my first visit to this world. <laughs> Originally, Princess Celestia so was going ago. to preside as the judge, but the High Council members were concerned that her verdict might be biased. But isn't this princess the ruler of your country? Can't she just say, too bad, I'm doing it anyway? Princess Celestia is our all-powerful ruler, yes. But every political decision must go by the High Council first. They represent the best interests of the citizens of Equestria. Naturally, oh, damn, did they? By them, and they wouldn't allow the princess to... They called this High Council thing way before uh, it even got mentioned in the show. For you. Well, no, I'm thinking of like the school board high council. You told me back then that they With represent naysay. the best interests of Equestria <laughs> citizens. They even have the power to overrule the princess's authority in some cases. Isn't that right? Yes, that's correct. The Equestria High Council is made up of six Ooh. ponies. Five are elected by the general populace from various administrative positions. The sixth member, known as the Lawkeeper, is the head of the High Council. They are elected by the council members themselves whenever the previous lawkeeper either retires or passes away. The duty of the High Council is to speak for the citizens of Equestria when it comes to making political decisions that affect our country. Okay. They advise the princesses when making such decisions, and can even overrule their authority in a Kind of like the vote. House of Representatives with the President. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty basic checks and balance system. But that's not all they do, right? They have some sway in the legal world as well, correct? Yes, they are responsible for acting as a jury for certain special trials held in the Canterlot Royal Court. Mm. And if you want to stand in Seems court like as an attorney without the House of Representatives the and the Supreme Court, you must get permission from both them and Princess Celestia. <laughs> what should I do then? Is it not possible for me to get a badge in time? Hmm. Well, I think there might be a chance you could. Since you're an acquaintance of myself and Mr. Wright, it shouldn't be too hard to write an appeal for you and Apollo. Use that clout. Oh, wait a second. I never asked for a badge. <laughs> well, if we're getting one for Athena, yeah, why not? I don't see the harm in getting one for you as well. You never know. You might use it someday. <laughs> Case three. I doubt it. Spike, can you get on that? Yes, ma'am. How long will it take to hear back from them, Twilight? 
It shouldn't take too long, especially since they'll likely prioritize an appeal from a princess. Like Celestia did for you the last time I was here? Exactly. We should hear back from them by the end of the day. Damn! <laughs> uh, isn't that a little fast? Even if they read your request and responded right away, what about the time it takes to deliver now those messages? Well, Spike can send messages instantly using his fire <laughs> breath. <laughs> what? Once Spike writes a letter, all he has to do is breathe fire on it, and it'll send the parchment to where he wants it to go. That... Oh, that doesn't make any Don't sense. Don't question it, bitch. <laughs> what do you mean? He's burning the paper. How does it get Deconstruction anywhere? and reconstruction. Oh. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not a sufficient answer for me. First you off... You tell him, Apollo. Oh, give it up. <laughs> You're not going to win. Yeah, Polly, come on. I've already figured it out. Yeah. It's not that complicated. Dude, it's like elementary school stuff. Trucy, not now. Please. <laughs> However, it is true that there could be a delay in hearing back from them. They don't exactly have a dragon to send letters with. A male pony will come by the castle later to drop off their response. And hopefully, the badges as well. All right. In that case, it's probably best if I investigate with Athena. If she's unable to defend tomorrow, then I'm going to have to do it. And I'll come with you, just yeah. so you have someone who's knowledgeable about this world by your side. I want to come too! I won't yeah. let them call Scootaloo a criminal! You tell them! Apple Bloom, <laughs> we went over this last time. This isn't exactly the kind of thing a filly like you should be doing. If I recall, last time we investigated together, <laughs> I found some pretty oh. important evidence for you. God, I love her I sass. I think I've proven myself <laughs> when it comes to this investigating stuff and she's already in this case anyways like <clears throat> <sighs> okay if i say no you'll just find a way to tag along anyway at least this way i can keep an eye on you so that you don't get lost or mess up the crime scene hey! oh my Crusader, private investigator! i don't think any more of us should go though we don't want to unintentionally disrupt the investigation by having too many of us there not to mention the everfree forest isn't exactly the we safest got you place here. to be we'll be fine Apollo, Trucy, Spike, and Rainbow Dash, would you all mind heading back to the castle oh. and letting every pony know what's going on? No problem, Twilight. And I'll get that appeal written and send as soon as I get back. <sighs> Might as well, right? <laughs> you gotta lighten up, man. Rainbow? You are going to save her, right, Athena? Yeah, probably hitting course, close to home Rainbow. for her. You can count on me. <laughs> Don't worry, Rainbow Dash. Athena's got drive, guts, tenacity, and, especially, courage like you've never seen before. Mm. Even when the situation is at its bleakest, Athena can power through and force her biggest smile. She'll fight for Scootaloo until the bitter end, I have dragging faith. out the truth along the way. You can count on her. <sighs> drive, guts, tenacity... <laughs> Encourage, huh? Just like you. Do I sense some <laughs> nostalgia behind those words? Thanks, Trucy. All right, guys, we'll be heading off now. See you when you get back. Stay safe. All right, we should probably get going. Do we even know where the murder occurred, though? I know it was somewhere in this forest, but... Don't worry. I asked the guards for more information on the crime. They were willing to tell a princess oh. like me the details. <laughs> well, one of them was, at least. Follow me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Fuck, my lungs have been fried ever since this field training thing I did like two weeks ago. That? A timber wolf. A timber wolf, probably. W what's a timber wolf? They're a breed of a magical wolf dogs made that live in this forest. <laughs> As the name suggests, their bodies are made of timber and leaves, and they can even reassemble themselves if they get injured. Uh, like a zombie? I guess that's zombie a doesn't comparison. regenerate. Well, at least the Walking Dead that ones. Question, then. What question? Do you remember what happened to me the last time I was here? 
I was knocked out and left <laughs> stranded in this forest. The Fluttershy had to save me from some vicious dogs that seemed to me like they were made out of wood. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly, she said... Those species of lupine are known to rip their prey apart within a few seconds. They're so cute. <laughs> those sound like timber wolves, all right. I had always wondered what those creatures were, exactly. And now I know, I guess. It doesn't make recalling that experience any less traumatizing, though. Jeez. We're only about five minutes into this forest, and already it's giving me the Keep craze. it together. We got Twilight. Don't worry. <clears throat> as long as we stick to the path, we should be fine. Many deadly creatures like the timber wolves live in this forest. But if we don't venture into the woods themselves, we shouldn't come across any. Oh, good. So there's a ton of vicious animals in here just yeah. waiting to kill me. Awesome! Although, didn't you say last time that the more dangerous creatures live much further into the forest, Twilight? That barking sounds relatively close by. And like Athena said, we haven't been walking for that long. Well, they aren't one of the more dangerous creatures. Timberwolves are probably the one exception to that. Many of them inhabit areas very close to the forest edge. Luckily, they never seem to leave the forest itself, which is good <laughs> yeah. for all of us living in Ponyville. Why in the world was your town founded right next to such a dangerous forest in the first place? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a long story. Yeah. I'm sure Apple Bloom can tell you if you're really interested. It involves the Timberwolves, funnily enough. Right now, though, we Good old Granny going. Smith. Which way? It seems like the path splits in three different directions here. We have to keep going straight to reach the crime scene. What's down the other paths? The right path leads to Froggy Bottom oh. Bottom. It's a swamp full of dangerous aquatic animals and a place where many strange plants grow. The left path leads to the Nightmare Night statue, only about a three minute walk away. Nightmare Night statue? As much as I'd love to explain, we really ought to move on. <laughs> Just we watch the show. We forest longer than we have to. And we definitely don't want to be in here after dark. Oh, that's right. The Everfree Forest is pitch black at night, isn't it? Well, the moon would be and shining. And you got a horn. So the path <coughs> south and other areas where there are no trees wouldn't quite be pitch black. But anywhere else, the trees are so thick that it may as well be. Sunlight can barely get through those trees during the day. There's no way any moonlight is going to get through them. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got lost in here last time, didn't you, Apple Bloom? Yeah. I couldn't even see my own hoof in front of my face once I ran off the path. Anyway, let's continue. There's someone I think we should talk to first. Fluttershy? Before we reach the crime scene. Luckily, it's on the way to it, so we won't need to make too much of a detour. Lead the way, Twilight. Yeah. Wait, fuck, that's Sakura's house. God damn it. <laughs> Hold up. Is that a Don't house? go in those yep. poison joke things. You mean someone actually lives in this forest? Uh-huh. <laughs> a good friend of mine named Sakura. She's an excellent potion maker. She and Twilight tell me everything I know about brewing potions. Oh, right. I think I remember you mentioning her at some point the last time I was here. Yeah, she's from some foreign land. Apparently. This is a really good apple boom she voice. She can't feel to expand her knowledge of potion making by experimenting with plants and other stuff not found in her home country. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. So, Twilight, was this who you wanted to talk to before we got to the crime scene? Yeah. I figured she might have witnessed something related to the murder, given that she lives in this forest and all. That's okay. That's a good idea. Let's go ask her. How many times is she gonna... What's she gonna rhyme with Wait, right? stop! What is it? What's wrong, Twilight? Don't go in the poison joke. Sorry. I yeah. just wanted to warn you to stay away from that patch of blue flowers there. Apple Bloom, you remember what this is, right? <laughs> Hell yeah! Of course I do, Twilight. That's that poison joke that you and the other stepped in that one time. <laughs> I still remember that like it was yesterday. I remember <laughs> that it. That was so <laughs> hilarious. Uh, so what 
does that flower do exactly? It makes your horns soft. It's a kind of flower. <laughs> if you touch it, it'll play an ironic joke on you. My friends and I once stumbled into a patch of this stuff. The next day, we woke up to find that our bodies had been altered. I, for example, had my horn rendered <laughs> floppy and completely useless. <laughs> my sister became so tiny that she could ride on top of me. Half flutter guy. Can't forget that. Luckily, it's not contagious. You have to physically touch the plant to be affected. <sighs> Good thing she stopped us. I almost walked right through them. I wonder what they would have done to me. Take away my hearing? Something like that. Is there, uh, anything else <laughs> around here we should be wary of? Hmm, I don't think so. That was the only thing I spotted. Then let's go ask Sakura what we yeah. need to ask her. Right. Sakura, it's Twilight. Could you come out? I need to talk Damn, to you. Damn, your mail is overflowing. Sakura? Doesn't sound like she's home. I guess she must be out gathering herbs or something. How long has she been out? Look at all that I'm mail. I'm so sure about that, Twilight. Look here. See this mail? Notice how this one letter looks much dirtier compared to the others? I can only assume that this has been sitting here for a while. That doesn't make any sense. Zakora always brings her mail in right away so that it doesn't end up like this. I thought that'd be the case. Hmm. So the fact that the mail is dirty means... She's not here. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Zakora hasn't had a chance to return home for a good while. Perhaps even a full day. Hey, boss. You don't think she could be... Oh God. The victim of this case, do you? What? No! D she can't be! She was just out collecting plants all night! I mean, we can't know that! Mr. Lawyer? I don't think so, Apple Bloom. Wh what? Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I'm not saying that she's the victim. If she was, there'd be police officers here combing her house yeah. for leaves. Since there aren't any, I think it's safe to say that she's okay. Oh... Okay. <laughs> that, that's good then. Whoa. The relief in her voice? It's so powerful. She must really care about Zakora. I. I should probably apologize to her later for blurting that out. <laughs> I mean, it was. However, makes I sense to ask. This could mean she's at least connected to our case. Maybe. How so? I can't say for certain. But if she's been away from her hut for some time, it's possible it could be because she was taken in for some questioning. Wow! You got all that just from that one letter? Mm-hmm. Well, it's just a <clears throat> guess for now. I have no way to prove that I'm right. But yeah, that's what this letter tells me. Huh? Hey, Phoenix, could I see that letter for a second? Have, like a royal seal uh, or something? Sure. Just as I thought. What is it, Twa? Did you find something? I did. Look at the seal. Hey, I think I've seen that before. Wasn't it during our last investigation? You're right, Apple Bloom. This is the Canterlot Royal Seal. What does that mean? It means that this letter was sent to Zakora by one of the princesses residing in Canterlot. I hate to say read That's other people's happened. mail, but... <laughs> Why would the princesses want to get in touch with Zakora of all creatures? It's certainly intriguing, but now's not the time to be concerning ourselves with that. We should keep moving towards the crime scene. You're right. I'll put Zakora's letter back in her mailbox. <laughs> we shouldn't be invading her privacy okay. after all. The crime scene should only be another 15 minutes away. Let's get going. Damn, it is windy outside my house. Damn, it happened right here. Whoa, what is that? Why is Scootaloo's scooter there? 
with CMC materials. They look like castle ruins. Well, that's exactly what they are. Those ruins were once a place known as the Castle of the Two Sisters. It was where Equestria's current rulers, Princess Celestia and Luna, used to live. Interesting. What happened? Just watch the show. It's a long story. <laughs> One that doesn't exactly have a pleasant ending. Maybe I'll tell you about it after this case is over. We got a lot to tell there you about. There seem to be a lot of long stories here that I need to ask these people, uh, ponies about. <laughs> Just watch the, the show. Ponyville, the castle of the two sisters. I wonder what else I can learn about this world. Oh, hello there. What might you folks be up to? What the? <gasps> nice hat. Huh? Oh, uh, good afternoon. Are you all right, sir? You seem a bit taken aback. British. <laughs> ah, I, yes, um, sorry. It's just, your hat reminds me of someone I met once a long time ago. Ah, well, no need for apologies, my friend. Pardon me, sir, but we're here to investigate the murder that occurred here last night. <gasps> Princess Twilight. <laughs> what an honor it is to be in your noble presence, your highness. Um, Do I trust you, you or not? <laughs> you really don't have to address me like that. Or a bow. <laughs> you are far too modest, princess. How could I not? After all you have done for a question. Are you sussy or not? Being out of the loop. How much has Twilight helped this world? Yep, a lot. You definitely remind me of him. And who might you be, miss? Oh, uh, my name is Athena Sykes. I'm the defense attorney for this case. Miss, hey? I think I'm gonna like this guy. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Sykes. And what about you, little one? My name's Apple Bloom. I'm Apple Bloom. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, mister. The feeling is mutual, Apple Bloom. And you, good sir. Phoenix Wright. The very same from yesterday's trial and the TS5 case. Yeah, that was yesterday. Well, it is certainly a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Private Eye. I'm the lead investigator for this case. You're the lead investigator? No offense, but shouldn't the investigation be led by some pony from Ponyville? I don't think I've ever seen you around town before. Quite right, Princess. I am not from Ponyville. I hail from Cantalot. That explains the, the voice. The reason I'm leading this investigation is because Princess Celestia ordered me to. Princess Celestia? The fuck? Indeed. As soon as the murder was reported, she requested that I take charge I guess of you this can be particular trusted. case. Why you? Well, that's... I'm sorry, Princess. As much as I wish I could tell you, I'm afraid that if I revealed anything, Princess Celestia would be less than pleased, you see. Huh. Oh. I see. <laughs> bitch what? wouldn't even let me know. <laughs> Why did Twilight sound so... dejected? That's her protege. So, you are here to investigate the crime scene, correct? Yes, we are. We need to build our case to defend Scootaloo, after all. Ah, yes. The little filly who was arrested as the suspect. Personally, I find it hard to believe that she is responsible. We found no yeah. link between her and the victim, after and all. And the fact that it's Scootaloo. But, alas, the evidence pointed to her as the culprit. Yeah, why is her Scooter here? So we had no choice but to issue a warrant for her arrest. No link, huh? So that means there's no motive for Scootaloo to commit this crime. I wonder how the prosecution plans to counter that issue. They'll find a way. So long as you are the defense attorney for this case, and especially if you have Princess Twilight's permission, then you are free to investigate the crime scene. Hell yeah. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, sir. Think nothing of it, miss. Twilight still seems really <laughs> out of it. I wonder what's bugging her. Fucking Southwest hey, wouldn't Twilight? tell me. Oh, nothing. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's begin the investigation. The emotions I'm hearing say otherwise, Twilight. But I suppose that's a can of worms that can wait to be opened. All right, Athena. So, what's our first step going to be? Well, uh, first, I'd like to know more about the victim. Can you tell me anything about them, Private Eye? Yeah. Well, now, 
You see, oh. that's a matter I've been instructed to keep quiet Damn, about. Damn, Celestia's keeping you under Wait, wraps. seriously? You can't even tell us who the victim is? Well, not so much you, princess. Just the general public. Such see, as Miss Apple there we go. It's not just about you, Twilight. Huh? Me? <laughs> Private Eye, I promise you it's fine. Apple Bloom here won't say anything that will cause any trouble for you. Right, Apple Bloom? Yup. You can trust me. <gasps> My lips are zipped, mister. Can't argue with that. Very well. <laughs> the victim's name is Royal Order, a member of Princess Celestia's Royal Guard back in Canterlot. He had just come home to Ponyville Kinda last looks night, like the see. dad of that one His kid with the sword. His wife confirmed that he something. arrived home that night, alive and well, at half past nine. However, for whatever reason, he decided to leave soon afterwards, and she never saw him alive again. Royal Guard? So that's why... Precisely. We're doing our best not to make the citizenry panic. So, mm. the victim had a family? Yes. A wife and son. It's gonna be him, I isn't have it? a photo of them here, if you wish to see them. Yeah. Fuck. Wait. That kid. That's the same one from earlier, isn't it? It sure looks like him. So he's the victim's son, then. What was he trying to do before, anyway? He seemed intent on stopping the guards from arresting Scootaloo. Are they friends or something? I'm not sure. I've never seen her hanging out with him before. Apple Blue? His name is Turning Page. Unfortunately, we don't know where he was or what he was doing last night. His mother said that he wasn't at home when Royal Order arrived. Hmm. I wonder if he has oh, some sure. sort of connection to this case then. It'd be a good idea to track him down and talk to him. At the very least, he should be able to tell me more about his father. And I'd like to know what kind of connection yes. he has with Scootaloo as well. Is there any word on the cause of death? Unfortunately, the body is still undergoing autopsy, so we cannot be certain as of yet. However, the leading theory is that he died from blood loss due to a small stab wound to the right wound. side of his head. A stab wound to the head? That's kind of an odd place to stab someone, don't you think? We thought so as well. We're hoping to find a reason for that once the autopsy is complete. When you say small stab wound, <gasps> just how small are you talking? The picture, that thing Every was like... Every puzzle has an answer. Look no further than that scooter over there, Miss Sykes. The handle? Huh? Th that scooter! And that wagon! What is it, Twilight? Those... those are scootaloos! Yeah. What? what? What are these doing here? We found the victim's body sitting right in front of that scooter. If you look at the left handle, you'll notice that it's broken and caked in blood. Oh, God. This confirmed that the blood belonged to royal order. You're right. The handle looks like it was snapped off. Only the metal bolt is still intact. Wait. Are you telling me that the victim was stabbed with the scooter? <laughs> Goddamn. That is our current interpretation of the facts, yes. The stab wound on the victim's head appears to be a perfect match with the metal bolt on this scooter. Jeez. We confirmed it just before the victim's body was taken away for autopsy. That's... that's insane! H how would that even be possible? And for a little kid, no less! We have a theory at the moment, but we'll have to wait until the autopsy is complete to be sure. And until it's certain, I suppose I shouldn't be expecting an answer. Mm. What is it, boss? Looks like the handle isn't the only part of the scooter that's broken. Look at the front wheels. Huh? They're twisted and bent. Sharp Did eyes, it hit right. something? We tested it earlier and confirmed that this scooter no longer works. It can't move an inch on its wheels. The fuck? Hmm. That sounds like it could be an important detail. happen to know how the scooter ended up like this, would you? Sorry, Twa. I have no idea. The last time I saw the scooter, it was working fine. When was the last time you saw it? Uh, yesterday afternoon, around 3.30 p.m. And what about Scootaloo? Do you know where she was or what she was doing yesterday? 
We were hanging out all day yesterday. We each went home around 3.30. So I, I can't say I know what she did afterwards. Um. I didn't even need my hearing to know that you're hiding <gasps> something, Apple Bloom. But what? I doubt she'll tell me without direct evidence. Especially if she's hiding the reason to protect her friend from suspicion. What's up with the wagon attached to the scooter? That's what Sweetie Bell and I ride in when we're with Scootaloo. <laughs> I see. It looks like something else has hitched a ride this time, though. Let's see here. Two red capes and a roll of golden silk? Hey, these capes have some sort of emblem on them. Cutie Mark Crusaders. Yep, that there is the <laughs> emblem of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Cutie Mark Crusaders? You better not hate on that Sweetie name. Sweetie Bell Scootaloo and I call ourselves. Ever since we first met, we were all so eager to get our cutie marks. So, we started a club dedicated to trying out all kinds of things in hopes of making our marks appear. Is that how that works? No, but no matter how many times we tell them, they just don't seem to listen. <laughs> you needn't worry, princess. I'm sure it's simply- This ain't a phase. All this work will pay off someday. <laughs> just you wait. My friends and I are gonna get the best, most amazing marks any pony's ever seen. Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon mm -mm. will be laughing at us then. Who? Uh, don't worry about it for now. We gotta focus on saving Another Scootaloo. thing to explain later. They do, Apple Bloom. Right. What was that, friends so or something? this means that these caves belong to you and your friends, Apple Bloom. That's right. But you mentioned that the Kitty Mark Crusaders have three members, right? So why are there only two capes? I'm not sure. The third cape is in police custody. It is currently undergoing examination, the results of which, I assume, will be announced at the trial. Mm. Hmm. I wonder why just one of the capes was taken and not the other two. Huh? Wait a second. These capes are lined with gold silk on the inside. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like it's the same as the gold silk in the wagon. Yeah, Sweetie Belle was the one who made the capes. She used some of Rarity's <laughs> custom-made golden silk to line the inside. So, this Sweetie Belle, she knows Rarity? Kinda now? sisters. Of course she knows her. She's her little sister. I wonder if she's just as dramatic and over-the-top as Rarity. Sometimes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, what, huh? What's wrong? There's a mark on the floor hey, of the wagon. Who does that question? Look. You're right. It looks like a hoof. A hoof print. Though it looks incredibly small. What's it been left in? Dried mud. Looks like it. I Probably scoot loses. I'm not entirely certain what this means, or if it's even relevant. We can't even tell what it's meant to be an imprint oh. of. Well. It must have been made last night, cause it sure wasn't. Wait, so you yesterday. knew what it looked like yesterday? Is that so? Hmm. How perplexing. Hmm. What is it, Twilight? I thought I saw something glinting. The fuck? Glass? Right here. See? Hmm. These look like glass shards? Wow. These things are tiny. I'm surprised you caught them, Twilight. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Careful analysis of those shards revealed that they belonged to a pair of nearsighted glasses. Do you Wait, know so there were glasses you? there? Not a clue. Neither the victim Sonata? nor the suspect wear glasses, so it's possible these were here before the crime even took place. Hey, what's down that staircase? It's, uh, let's just say it's something important to leave it at that. 
Trust me, we do not need to get into that whole story. <laughs> Watch the you. show. After this is over, I'm going to drag <laughs> the answers out of you, Twilight. I think that just about covers the crime scene investigation, though. Unless there's something else you can tell us, Private Eye. In regards to the crime scene, there's nothing more I can say. You all did a splendid job uncovering every clue that my team and I managed to discover. However, there is one more detail you should probably know. Oh? What's that? I assume you are familiar with the Nightmare Knight statue, Princess. Yes. Of course. Well, we're not certain if it's connected to this crime, but we discovered something rather peculiar behind that statue. What was it? Blood. What? Have you tested it yet? How could that not be related to the case? Because it's not the victims, you see. The blood... So whose is it? Isn't the victims? Correct. That's why we're uncertain if it has anything to do with the case or not. And that's why I think you should see it for yourselves. Perhaps you'll discover something we didn't. I think we'll do just that. Yeah. Thank you, Private Eye. You are more than welcome, Princess. And please, simply private is fine with me. All right, private. All right. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Ah, one moment. There are two more things I would like to give you. These diagrams the police made. One of the Everfree Forest, and one of the crime scene. I think you'll find them most useful. Take care. Well, I like you so far. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, let's go. Going to the statue? It'll likely be another 30 minute walk back to where the path splits. Oh. You should probably take this time to familiarize yourself with the path, Athena. It could be useful to know exactly how the forest is laid out. Roger that, Twilight. Hold up. Where's Apple Bloom? Huh? She was right behind oh us my. a second ago. I'm coming! I'm coming! What were you doing? Apple Bloom, what were you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry, Twi. I, I didn't realize y'all were leaving already. Was she not paying attention to her conversation? What is going on here? with you? Anyway, where are we headed? The Nightmare Knight statue? Alright, cool. Let's get moving. Is it just me, or has Apple Bloom been acting... Sus. <laughs> since we started investigating the scooter and wagon at the crime scene. No, I've noticed it too. She never even answered yeah. any question about why those things were there. She clearly knows more than she's letting on. Perhaps she's trying to hide something from us in order to protect Scootaloo? That's what I thought, too. But how are we going to get her to open up? Then if we don't know the full I truth, she could go to jail anyways. I can't guarantee that she'll open up completely, but I might be able to squeeze some information out of her. If anyone can get her to talk, it's you, Athena. Go for it. On it, boss! Oh my god. That <laughs> scared me. Hey, Apple Bloom. Mind if I walk with you? Oh! Uh, sure, Miss Sachs. Thank you. And please, call me Athena. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You know... You gotta apologize. Uh, oh, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you... You were just saying what you were thinking. Nothing wrong with that. Right. <laughs> um... So, how did you and your friends first meet? Well, we became friends because we were the only fillies in our class who hadn't yet gotten the cutie mark. I was being bullied by these two other fillies, Damajiara and Silverspoon, and Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle stood up for me. Yep. Ever since then, we've been the best of friends and formed the cutie mark crusaders. You all enjoy each other's company, don't you? Of course! We have lots of fun together, and we're always there for each other, through thick and thin. We're like 
a family. I couldn't imagine life without them by my side. A family, well, unless we huh? know the truth, they won't be by your side. <laughs> I think I get what you mean. It's the same for me. With Mr. Wright, Apollo, and Trucy. Are they those other humans you were with? Yeah, it's strange. I haven't even been with them for a year. But I can't imagine life without them, either. They're always there for me, too. Even during one of the worst experiences I ever had. What was that like? I don't think it's something I should be talking to you about. Let's just say, if it weren't for my friends, I definitely wouldn't be here right now. They helped me out when I needed it most. In more ways than one. Then I guess that's what we should be doing for Scootaloo, right? Yep. Sweetie Belle and I both? I'm sure she'd appreciate that very much. But don't go getting yourself into trouble. Don't worry, Athena. I'm gonna uncover the clue that'll save the day. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Apple Bloom. I mean, you kind of did with fucking Rainbow Dash way back when. Didn't she have some evidence that popped out of nowhere? I forget exactly. Well, here we are. So, this is the Nightmare Night's nice Dash you, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's extravagant. I'll give it that. Kind of scary. What's it here for? It's for Nightmare Night. It's a holiday where fillies and colts go from house to house collecting candy. Just like Halloween. And then, at the end of the night, we all come here and <laughs> give up some of our candy so that Nightmare Moon won't gobble us up! Oh my god. <laughs> so it's like Halloween then. Halloween? What? Uh, never mind. So, the statue, is this Nightmare Moon? Yep, back when she was still evil. Still evil? She ain't anymore. Why don't we talk about this another time? <laughs> Let's investigate what we came here to see. Well, what is with all the deflecting and There's just so much to today? explain. It can't be that hard to just explain it, can it? To be fair, probably not. Rabbit Eye said that there were small traces of blood behind the statue, right? Blood that didn't belong to the victim. Let's go take a look. Just a random old is. puddle of blood? Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. I warned you, Apple Bloom. This isn't really the kind of thing a filly like you should be doing. No, no. I, I, I have to do this for Scootaloo. All right, if you say so. I don't think this is enough blood to have been from anything fatal. But the real puzzle is what it's doing here in the first place. Yeah. So, you really think this pool of blood has nothing to do with the case? Not necessarily. Mm. Oh, wait! Athena! Do you still have that forensic flashlight on you? I do! Oh, I see. You want me to use it to check for any blood that might have been wiped away, right? Exactly. Alright, give me a second. Here goes nothing. Oh. Huh? There... there really was more blood. Come on, let's follow it. <laughs> oh my god! Shh. Calm down. It's okay. <laughs> oh my... what? Oh... my... That's a lot of... Yeah, it's like they fell into that spike. No kidding. The amount that was visible may not have been fatal, but this? There's no way someone could still be alive after losing this Why much Why is it all blood. wiped away? What? What does this mean? Did the crime actually occur here? No, it couldn't have, remember? This isn't Royal Order's blood. Well, someone's blood? But it's not the victim's blood. It fell on that spike or something. Then whose is it? No idea. But whoever's blood it is, they are unmistakably <gasps> dead. Jesus. Wait, you mean this case might have a second victim? Well, how old is the blood? I can't say for certain, but... Can't you see the age? I wouldn't rule out the possibility. With testing? This is insane! Just 
What is going on Yeah, this here? is a creepy turn now. <laughs> Be in here. You again. I finally found you, you ugly hench pony. You thought you could hide from me in this forest? Ha! Huh, no such luck. <laughs> Get back, you spiky-haired villain. I'm interrogating Apple your hench pony. Tell him to calm down. I will not allow you to interfere. No! Watch it! Now tell me, what is it that you're doing here? Looking to cover up evidence? Trying to frame Miss Scootaloo for a crime she trying did to help Miss Scootaloo. How vile! Hold on! I'm not trying to do anything like that. I'm trying to save her. A likely story. I saw you and this other creature with those disrespectful guards earlier. You were trying to stop me from saving Miss Scootaloo. That must mean you want her arrested no. and found guilty of a murder she's innocent of. A truly villainous act. No, you have it all wrong. If I may interject. And who would dare? The princess? <gasps> <laughs> Princess Twilight! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to shout at you. Please punish me however you wish. It's all right. I'm not going to punish you. Detention. For a week. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Although, I would like to ask you to please stop attacking these two humans. We're, on this, we're in this together. But, but they were trying to get Miss Scootaloo arrested. They're villains, Princess. We have to stop them and save her. No, they're not villains. They're trying to save Scootaloo as well. They... they are? Yes, we all are. But then, why did they try to stop me earlier? They were trying to stop you from getting into <laughs> trouble. Attacking royal guards is a serious offense, and so is helping some pony resist arrest. You're lucky you both are just kids. The guards were willing to let it slide. Oh, I... I didn't know that. I thought... I thought I was helping. Yeah, so your dad is dead from this, you. right? I thought you were working against Miss Scootaloo. How are you being affected by that? It's fine. At least no one was seriously hurt. Right, Athena? I yeah, I'm all good. I hope that kid didn't do something to my back. <gasps> I am too young to start turning Damn, into Mr. Wright. Damn, why are you roasting him? <laughs> now, while you were here, we would like to ask you a few questions. M me? You are turning page, are you not, Royal Order's son? Y yeah I understand this may be a hard time for you, but we need to ask you some questions How much about does he know? What happened last night? We'll need to handle this delicately. Otherwise, he might clam up on us. Let me take it from here, Twilight. Use that psychology. Sure thing, Athena. Let's start with something a little bit more innocent. Once we learn more about him, it should be easier to approach the topic of his father. So, turning, you know Scootaloo? Yeah, she and I are friends. Look at this ribbon she gave me yesterday. <laughs> and what was this for? Yeah. It was a thank you gift for standing by her side when she was confronting a pair of bullies. It means a lot to me. Bullies? Yeah. There were these two bullies who were causing Diamond trouble Tiara. with Miss Scootaloo Silver at her yesterday. So, I stepped in and scared them off. Nice. What's this about, Apple Bloom? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. I guess the whole thing just slipped my mind. I seriously doubt that. Why is she trying to hide this? Does it somehow have something to do with Scootaloo's arrest? We all hung out for a little while after that. We Ms. gotta Scootaloo get her speaking. I got along really well. And that's why later that day, she gave me that ribbon. Okay. But Twilight says she's never seen you and Scootaloo together before. How long have you two been friends? Well, just oh. since yesterday, I guess. We only became friends after the oh. whole incident with the bullies. Had you met her before then? No, but I knew who she was. She's Miss Dash's <laughs> honorary sister. Not only that, but she's also the president of the Rainbow Dash <laughs> Yeah. Club and a founding member of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Damn, you know her whole resume. That's a lot of info for only <laughs> having heard of her. 
Although she has connections to one of the element bearers, some of my biggest heroes. Oh. How could I not know who she is? Element bearer. <laughs> Jeez, I could really do with a guidebook or something. I've never Damn, felt Phoenix so Wright didn't explain shit to you. So you learned of Scootaloo because of her <laughs> the past four to years. Dash. <laughs> yep. I guess that explains why Rainbow got so defensive of Scootaloo. If she's her honorary sister. Huh. I would have assumed you two knew each other through school. You look to be about her age. Are you homeschooled? Nope. I don't even go to school. What? <laughs> you don't? What about your education? I don't need school to teach me a bunch of useless stuff. I can learn everything I need to by getting out into the real world and experiencing it myself. Okay. All that school and books will do is slow me down. Don't tell that to I want Twilight. To learn new <laughs> by traveling the land and discovering them for myself. That's how you really learn. If you say uh, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Twilight just broke. And your parents are okay with that turning? Well, my mom isn't. She's been trying to get me to go to school since forever. My father was okay with it, though. He was happy that I wanted to follow in his hoofsteps and become a member of the Royal Guard. He spent a lot of time in Cantalon, but whenever he came home, he and I would always practice sparring. He actually made this wooden sword for me. Ooh. Huh? It looks like it broke at some point. How did that happen? Oh, that? That <sighs> happened when I was fighting Damn, the you hit him yesterday. that hard? Wait, what? <laughs> you attacked him with your sword? Of course. My father always told me the true mark of the Royal Guard is more than their strength and bravery. It's their willingness to put everything on the line to defend what they believe in. What kind of future Royal Guards pony would I be if I didn't fight those bullies? I guess. <laughs> but pulling a sword out seems a little overkill. It's a wood sword. I mean, they're just kids, right? Yeah, you'd get fucking expelled if you did that in real elementary school. So, <laughs> about your father. Do you know what happened to him? Yeah. He was murdered last night. I'm so sorry for your loss, Turning. It's... It's fine. This is just... It's just another test of strength for me to go through. I guess that's huh? one way to look Something at it. Something else my father always told me. That you need to remain strong, even in times of hardship. That's why I'm not going to cry. I won't be sad. It's okay to cry and be I sad. I have to show him that even though he's gone... I'm still strong. That's not a sign of weakness. I'm going to soldier on, just like he would want me to. This kid. <laughs> his heart is crying out in sadness, but he's trying so desperately to act like everything is fine. Oh, it's almost too much for me. I know he wants to stay strong in his father's memory, but this is doing him more harm than good. If you think you can handle it, Turning, would you mind answering some questions for us regarding what happened last night? Oh. Um, sh sure. Thank you. Now, first off, we would like to know what you were doing. According to your mother, you weren't home when your father returned from Canterlot last night. So, where were you? I... Um, I was... Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's her. The mayor from the photograph, Royal Order's wife. There you are. I told you not to run off again. What are you doing in this forest? I was trying to find a way to save Miss Scootaloo. She didn't kill father, and I'm going to prove it. No, you won't. I told you, stay out of the investigation. Leave the job to the professionals. If Scootaloo really is innocent, they'll prove it. Man, it must suck to feel powerless trouble, like that. We're just asking your son a few questions. Well, I'd rather you didn't, <laughs> if I'm being honest. W would you be kind enough to give us your name? Fair Devotion. And you are? Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> a attorney at law. Nice to meet you. <laughs> if this is how Mr. Wright engages in small talk back home, 
Ventrusi's gonna be waiting on the hey. new mommy for a while. Quit roasting him. As much as I'd love to stick around and chat, we really must be going now. Hold on. We have some questions for you. For me? Yeah. Your Royal Order's wife, right? Yes. Or, at least, I was. Oh. She sounds so devastated. Just like turning. I can't let that stop me, though. I have to ask her about her husband to find the truth. I'm sorry for your loss. But would you mind answering some questions for us regarding the murder? <sighs> I already talked to the police at length regarding this. I do not wish to talk about it further. If you want to know what I had to say, just ask them. We already did, but... Then that's all you'll be oh. getting from me. <laughs> Let's go, Turning. It's not wise to be in this forest in the first place. But... But... The police will find a way to save Scootaloo, I promise. Just come back home with me. And don't run off again. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. It's pointless to try to get any more information out of either of them right now. It's okay, Turning. Like your mom said, we'll find a way to prove Scootaloo's innocence and bring the real killer to justice. You... you will? Hell yeah. I will. I promise. Okay, you better, because... If you don't, I'll find a way to do it myself, no matter what. It's a deal. What are we gonna do now? I think it's about time we also got out of this forest. We need to go yeah, visit how late is it? in the detention center soon. Right. Let's get moving then. Oh, it's is this Friday the 13th? Fuck. <laughs> hmm. What's up, Phoenix? Twilight, how long did you say it takes to walk from here to the statue clearing? 30 minutes. About three minutes. Oh, three. Why? I think we might want to keep these times in mind. They could be useful later. Athena, do you still have the diagrams Private Eye gave us? Yeah, I got them right here. Can I see the diagram of the whole forest? Sure, boss. Here you go. What are you doing, Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> Investigate. I'm writing down the time it takes to get to various locations throughout the forest. See? As Athena pointed out earlier, it takes about five minutes to get from the entrance of the forest to here where the path splits. This is just at a walking then pace. Then it takes three minutes to get to the statue clearing and 30 minutes to reach the okay, castle. Okay, 30 ruins. from there. I have a feeling I know what this other clearing on the map is, so I've marked it down that it takes uh, 10 minutes to reach it from here. As for the path from Zakora's hut to the ruins, that took 15 minutes according to Twilight. Ugh, my head hurts. <laughs> Wait until we calculate the running pace and all that shit. And the difference Don't between the pony and human pace. So far. <laughs> if we find out any more, it'd be a good idea to mark them down on the diagram. Wow, thanks boss. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Athena. I'm just wondering what else is hiding in these woods. There's so a hell of a lot. Mysterious. You're telling me this place is home to all kinds of unnatural things. Bizarre apple trees, clouds that move on their own. Oh, and I can't possibly forget about the mirror pool. Let's the not go there. <laughs> oh, isn't that the thing the Pinkie yes. Pie used to clone herself over and over again? Another thing we don't yes. talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is, Apple Bloom. The mirror pool is a strange pond that houses a very peculiar kind of magic. If you look into the pool and recite an incantation, the pool will create a near-perfect clone of the one reflected on its surface. That's insane. And you're saying Pinkie Pie used it to clone herself? Multiple. Multiple <laughs> times? Yep. Those clones were causing havoc all over town. Applejack had to use her herding skills to gather them all in one place so we could God, get rid I of them. God, I still hear the fun oh, echoing in my head. <laughs> oh, it was.
was. Trust me, cleaning up that mess was no fun either. After the whole incident was over, I made sure to cover up the entrance to the cave leading to the pool with a large, heavy rock. That way, no pony can accidentally walk in. Couldn't another unicorn just lift the rock, though? Not exactly what I called secure. You know the incant incantation. I guess? I didn't really have a way to seal the cave completely, though. Hmm. Well, anyway, we have no time to continue standing around here talking about this stuff. We need to go visit Scootaloo and hear what she has to say. Yeah. As much as I enjoy finally getting some answers, Scootaloo is our top priority. You're right, boss. Let's keep moving. We need to get to the detention center before visiting hours are over, after all. Right, then. Follow me. I'll show you how to get there. Yes, Apple Bloom? Do you think we could stop at Carousel Boutique first? Why? Why? <laughs> I want Sweetie Belle to come with us to see Scootaloo. We have to support her. Together. Is that okay, Athena? Of course. With both her friends there, Scootaloo is sure to be more open with us when we go see her. And it'll reassure her that her friends are on her side. Not that she needs to be reminded of that, I'm sure. All right, then. We'll stop at Carousel Boutique, check back at the castle to see if we received a reply from the High Council, and then we'll go straight to okay. the detention center. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Speaking of your castle, I can see it from all the way over here. It's pretty big. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're right. I'm so envious of you, Twilight. Getting to live in a castle Hey, like she didn't ours? even like it at first. You're envious? Why? What do you mean, why? You get to live in a giant castle. What more could you want? I'd like my old home back for one. Your old home? <sighs> do you mind if we take a little detour? Oh, okay, another one. Uh, sure. What's this about, I wonder? Gotta tell her about T-Rex. Golden Oak Ruins. Fuck. Whoa. What is this place? <sighs> this. This is where I used to live. Before I moved into my castle. This is... your old home? It's completely destroyed. What happened to it? It was about two or three months ago. Equestria oh. was under attack from a centaur named Damn, so you're still adjusting. He had sucked out the magic of nearly every single pony in Equestria, making him extremely powerful. I eventually had to fight him, and in the process, he... He destroyed this library. My home. Oh, I... I didn't realize. I'm sorry, Twilight. You had to fight this Tyrik alone? What about your friends or the princesses? My friends had been captured yep. and drained of their magic. As for the princesses, they knew that T-Rex would be after their magic. So they decided to transfer all of their powers to me in an effort to hide it. They believed that T-Rex wouldn't be able to find the magic since I was Equestria's newest princess. And it was possible he didn't even know I existed. And then we got but an he epic fight scene. Me, and we ended up having to battle each other. All the princess's magic versus all of Equestria's magic. <laughs> yeah. That must have been quite the battle. So, where's Tyrk now? He'll be back. He's locked up in Tartarus, where he originally escaped from. <laughs> Tartarus? That yeah. exists. <laughs> it's like a high security prison of sorts for all kinds of dangerous creatures. It's guarded from the inside by Cerberus, a large yep. three headed god. He exists too. Still, you managed to beat him, right? Yeah. And you got a castle as a result? S sort of, I guess. I I just wish that instead of a castle, I was given this place back. That's why you don't like your have castle. to make your castle home. It's a nice place and all, but Cue it's the just... Song. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's mine. What do you mean? I 
mean, I didn't really ever ask for it. I didn't really ask for any of this. Being a princess was never something that I ever had any desire to pursue. I was just... Hey, usually title. people in positions of power but are ones that don't want it or the best. Been for a reason, right? I doubt Princess Celestia would have given you the position otherwise. I guess there was a reason, but in the end, it doesn't change the fact that the life I now have wasn't one I ever wanted. I was just forced to accept it and act accordingly. And that's exactly how I feel about this tree here. Damn. This was my old home, and now it's been taken from me. And replaced with something I never asked for, nor wanted. There were so many precious memories I had in this place of my friends, of you, Phoenix. But I just, I just wish sometimes that I could have it back, even if just for a day, to remember what it was like. A life you never wanted, but were forced to follow. Huh. Athena? What's wrong? N nothing boss. Am I... any different? Oh. <laughs> yes. I was accused of killing my own mother. But Mr. Wright? He believed in me. He stuck true to his beliefs, and not only was I found not guilty, but he found the real killer! Nice. And I was able to save a dear friend of mine when he was going to be given the death sentence for the same crime. <laughs> the whole reason I became an attorney. The reason I even decided to study law at all. It was all to save Simon from that faulty verdict that I couldn't save him from all those years ago. If only I'd been able to convince everyone. If only I'd been stronger. My life would be completely different. I wouldn't have met Mr. Wright, Apollo, or Trucy. I certainly wouldn't have gone into law. Forced. Forced by who? Fate? Like with Twilight. Was all this just meant to be? But now that he's been saved, what else is there? I still so want to, to be a lawyer. Out. But what if I'm just not good enough? Don't be thinking like that. Not like I did much to free him anyway. That was all thanks to everyone else. Athena! <gasps> what? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Boss? Are you alright, Athena? <laughs> you look a little sick. Y yeah, I just... kinda zoned out. I'll say. Sorry. It's my fault. I shouldn't have brought you all here. This is just wasting time. Nah, it's fine. No, it's okay, Twilight. I understand. Change can be hard, especially when you're not expecting it. Thanks. I can reminisce some other time, though. For now, we should be focusing on the case at Huff. If that's what you want, what do you say, Athena? I... Uh, let's get going. We don't want to miss visiting hours at the detention center. Yeah. We still have quite a bit to do before we get there. A lot of people working on this.
outro. This really is like an anime outro. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Well, yeah, that was the first episode of Case 1. We got the investigation episode. Uh, yep, we probably going to have a trial next time out. I don't know when that will be on my channel, but eventually. <laughs> I got a lot going on, but yeah, I enjoyed that first part. I love this series, so I'm excited for the next one. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. There's going to be a lot soon, so yeah. See you later.